Hi, I'm Eric Gans. I am in Faustin, Maryland, Hartford County. I'm here to manage a VGE home performance with Energy Star Insulation Project. The treatment areas include two separate crawl spaces that we're going to encapsulate, as well as three separate attic areas that we're going to air seal and insulate. And the opportunity is to make this house more comfortable and energy efficient when covered during a recent energy audit that I did. So what I'm going to try to do today is show you a few of the problems and how to treat them. My hope is you'll like this and you'll subscribe to my channel and help others discover the ways that they too can make their house more efficient and comfortable. And it doesn't mean they have to replace windows or HVAC. Problem number one, which is a problem in most houses in Maryland, is that there was no air sealing at the attic floor. And what does that mean? Well, a lot of houses have lots of different openings, cracks, crevices, much like this one, at the attic floor that lead to the inside of the house. And what happens is during the winter, hot air, which is inside of that cavity, even though you're not actually going inside of there and spending the time, uh, it is still part of your inside or envelope of your home, but hot air is leaving through that area because there's nothing stopping the flow of air. And then in the summer, you're gonna get a lot of hot air that's gonna get inside of that and make the house warm. What we do is we cover those areas with something rigid and we seal it. Another problem for a lot of houses in Maryland, same for this house, is that it had recessed lights. And you can see through the thermal imaging that the recessed lights are gateways they communicate, the air communicates between the two spaces. So what we do is out in the field, we build boxes based on the type of recess light and we seal them to the attic floor. The second problem in this house was an open crawl space. And if you have vents in your crawl space like this one, there's definitely a connection between the missing insulation in that particular area and that open vent. Those open vents just allow heat and humidity in the summer as well as cold air in the winter. So the first thing we want to do when we encapsulate a crawl space is we want to take all the old insulation out. And when we do, you can see that it really reveals some of those areas that need to be sealed. Penetrations that are going through that uh, band joist, that rim and band joist, those need to be sealed. And what we do to do that in a crawl space is we use closed cell spray foam. And you can just see how that uh, spray foam just wraps itself uh, to the surface and seals and insulates all at the same time. And this is an example of how we apply the two-part spray foam to those areas. And we, you know, again, we spray it on to chemicals. They meet and they interact, they expand, and then they harden. No air can pass through and they also insulate. The final step in encapsulation is to lay down a vapor barrier and seal it to the wall and then add insulation to the perimeter wall. We want to make sure that that insulation is at least R11 and we want to make sure that the vapor barrier once again is fully sealed. The third problem in this house, which is again all too common in Maryland, is that it had a lack of insulation. And not only when heat rises does it go and flow through cracks and crevices, but when you don't have enough insulation to slow the transfer of that heat, you're also going to lose heat through the ceiling in leaps and bounds. So obviously, the way we want to treat that situation is we want to add insulation to the areas. R49 is the standard in Maryland. It is the required and recommended number for the BGE with Energy Star program, and, and how many inches it is uh, that it ends up being depends on how much insulation you currently have. But what you're going to see here at the end is this is what a, a R49 flat attic looks like when it's well insulated. This project was successful, and the homeowners are definitely going to be in for years and years of comfort, sustainability, and uh, lower energy bills. Thanks for watching.